Hello, this is Tyler Young with Go Engineer Tech Support. Today I want to show you a new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2014, and that is a type of light. It's the sun. So in SOLIDWORKS 2014, they've introduced a solar study where you can apply the uh, sun to your model and see what the sun will appear like depending on your location in the world, the date, and the time. Let's look at how you create a light of the sun. To do that, you're going to click on the view menu, lights and cameras, add sunlight. Now we get our sun property manager, so I'm going to just expand that here a little bit. So we get to define the north direction. You see we already get a little compass here, but I'm going to select this linear edge to define north going that way. I then get to choose the different locations. You see they have a number of default locations already put in. You can also specify your location if you know the specific coordinates and then the specific time zone from Greenwich. We can also change the date and the time that your sun is appearing. So I'm going to change this date to the winter solstice, so December 21st. That gives us the shortest daylight in the year. Now that we have our sun created, we're going to create a actual study analyzing how the sun moves over the time of the day. So to do that, we're just going to click the motion study. And then we're going to use our animation wizard to do that. And you see we get two different studies, rotate and a solar axis study. That's what we want to do. I'm going to click next on that. There are two different types of studies, fixed date, variable time, or fixed time and variable date. We're going to do the fixed date, but the fixed time variable date is similar. Now if we do want to set a different time or a different location, we can do that now and this duration time is just the duration that our actual animation is going to take so we'll just set that to the regular 10. Okay so now we have our solar study set you can see my backgrounds kinda changed with the Sun um, to solve that and start that we're just gonna click this play from start button Okay, so now my study has finished solving. I'm just going to come here and click play on that. Now you can see how the shadows are moving over my model as the sun goes along in throughout the day. Now that I'm back on my model tab, I can move my solar panels around to the desired location. Now I've done this a few times so I kind of know uh, good locations for these solar panels so that they will get light um, more consistently. But if this were your model you would have to just do some trial and error on the location um, to ensure that you are in fact getting a good spread of, uh, of your solar panels or whatever you're studying. and that's pretty good it's not gonna be perfect but that's okay so I come back to my motion study and I can rerun this and we can now see that we are getting a different result and seeing that oh our solar panels do have more light throughout the day indicating that this would probably be a better position for these solar panels so that's a new tool in SOLIDWORKS 2014 you can create a sun and then you can study the movement of the sun over a specific date and the, the time of that date or over um, a specific time over uh, the course of a year. Uh, this has been Tyler Young with Go Engineer. I hope that you've enjoyed this video.